Jeff, we look forward to an interesting and entertaining basketball game. That's what everyone wants. Different different types. Yes, it should be a good game. Even the tip's going to be good, even though uh, number 10 has Bryant probably by six or seven inches. Uh, it's going to be interesting because Bryant has some ups. Mumaw puts it on the floor, lost it. Touched out by Schnelly, though. And tell me if you agree, but I thought Jacob was a little hesitant there right after he put it on the floor. Kind of wanted a little head and shoulder move as well. He was. He didn't want that one slapped back. Out front, Heckenden goes to quarter. Dials up a three. On the way, got an answer. Bryant, the opening triple, and Rich Hill will take a 3-0 lead one minute in. So very patient, Jeff. They get a swat shot, and another one poked away. But ultimately, Tigers get an open look and knock it down. Lockwood will now try to answer this end. Long pass over their top. They'll go to the big man, and Schnelly scores above everyone and scores. Ben Schnelly's first two of the game, and Rich Hill with the 3-2 advantage early on in this district championship here from Butler High School. Out front with it on the dribble is Rob. He'll come to the elbow just inside, back out to quarter. Same spot, shot up, same results. Bryant back-to-back, and you could trace some lineage back to those district titles aforementioned for the Tigers some 13 years ago. His dad, now of course teaching at Belton, was one of the assistant coaches on those teams. So a little bit of a family history. I imagine they've maybe had a discussion along the way as well, Jeff, in regards to it's time to bring a district title back to Rich Hill. And all of a sudden, after the opening bucket from Rob, a quick little spurt here on the 7-0 burst, and the lead has belled up to 11. Heckenden at the other end, a big three to answer. No, quarter backside follows. Bryant with 11, and now Coach Ryan Rapp wants a timeout as the lead scissor to nine. 30 to 21, 508 to go in the third. Neither of these teams thus far have subbed more than Rich Hill, just one. Smar coming in. Beerley and Holman. Hellman play a lot now. Steele up to the other end. Quarter up for the dunk. The hammer from Bryant. I'm sorry, from Bryant. He's got 13. And I tell you what, he exploded right through two defenders coming and put that down almost before they had an opportunity to react. That'll get the crowd now involved as defense is quick offense. And having seen Bryant play, you just kind of knew when he picked it off where he was going to do with it. Snelly out top now. He'll go left side into the hands of Eggerman. He'll dribble drive inside, shot up and lost it. And then they'll say no, out of bounds off of Eggerman. That'll go back over to Rich Hill. Now be able to at least get up at the rim. Second one, no good. Rich Hill with the bound, and they'll come up the other way. Left to right, Trevor Delosier into the lineup now for Rich Hill. Quarter, three ball, left wing. No, but then fouled as Schnelly has a hard close out, and Bryant will go to the line for three. Team one on Lockwood, and then repays the hard foul on the other end here with his first personal. And quarter to the strike, leads all scores tonight with 13. And a chance to cut that lead all the way down to one here. Clock's already wound down to 2.20 here in the third quarter. First free throw good. 14 for Bryant. Bryant did a good job that time of just holding his shot and taking the abuse. Two more on the way for the junior. Several dribbles, bend to the knees. That one saw cord as well. So 2-2, two two, and boy, I'm always a fan of that's how you seal it up whether it's just a particularly physical play game and, or someone kind of targets you saying hey you know, get a good foul on somebody the way that you top that is you just get your shots at the line Ryan third one got them all three of three Rich Hills back within one Holman on the dribble and then swings into the corner Eggerman entry that's got to be a charge referees both blow the whistle and then they'll nod and Lockwood fans don't like it behind us Jeff but our angle Look off the tape, that was pretty clear. The defender was set. I think what looked bad was they stood and stared at each other too long. One of them needed to make a call. The lead back to 11, and quickly this way, the Tigers want to attack. Heckenden inside, in trouble, dumps it to Mumaw. Kick out quarter, left side, Thompson dials up the three, rims it off, no good. Rebound underneath, Eggerman poked away, quarter, half hook, good. Bryant now scored in all four quarters. He's got 18 in the basketball game. Rich Hill back down nine, and... Jeff, we're now starting to get to the point of game where Rich Hill's going to start to take some gambles, and if they connect on them, then they've got the opportunity to get easy buckets. If they don't, that can transition to easy baskets, though, for Lockwood. On the dribble into the forecourt, Thompson comes with it. Heckin' and now right side. Entry comes into the hands of Rob. Out to corner, three ball good. 
21 from Bryant now in the basketball game. And that lead cut to six. Closest it's been since that run late in the third. Had trimmed it down to one. And Holman clears it out and says, I can dribble on anyone. And now he's going to get a 10-second call on him, though. And that'll turn it over. So turnover 12 now on the Lockwood Tigers. And, boy, frustration showing on the face of the little man right there. As he thought he'd, he'd waved everybody off, and he was going to just bring it up to four and didn't get it across in time. Yeah, he didn't seem to agree with the officiating that time. That's the first time I've seen him frustrated. Ball nearly poked away. Quarter gets it back into the hands of Heckenden. Long skip up top. Thompson comes to Quarter. Another three. Bang! Bryant with 24. The lead is cut to three. 46 to 43 with 2.25 to go. Both missed by Bolden. Rich Hill with it now. A chance to tie or cut it to one. Up high around a pit. Quarter comes off to Heckenden. Swings to Thompson now. Back to Heckenden. Spike line area on the left side against the Lockwood zone. He'll bounce it right side quarter. Everyone flashes now over to him, so he'll put it on the floor. Dribble all the way across and dump it off to Thompson. Clock running down to 90 seconds. Inside, Mumaw scores! Jacob with six. They've cut it back to one. A lot of time to go, Jeff, but I tell you what. Now a steal! Heckenden with the poke away. One on none. To the rim, and the Tigers have the lead. Cole with four. Turnover 13 in the ballgame. Another near steal, and now Coach Shockley jumps up and will get the timeout. And the Rich Hill fans are ready to blow off the roof here at Butler High School. Down twice, Rich Hill got it back to one after trailing by 11. Down 11 again. They've now taken the lead at 47-46. District championship on the line. Lockwood with the ball down one, 47-46. Clock winding at the 52nd mark. Into the man-to-man. Out front now, a big kick. Schnelli will get it. He'll knife through, and they're going to call a foul. They'll wave the shot off. It'll just be the one and one. But a foul called, and that's going to be on Blaine Robb. His third personal, team number nine, I'm sorry, on the other side there, that's, no, that's right, that's team nine. They have the last foul before the double bonus. Schnelli, who is yet to miss, though, from the line, two pretty crucial ones here, but 45 seconds, Jeff, still a ton of time on both sides. First one up and good. Ben with 11, and we're tied at 47. Hey, this is what you want a district championship to be. This is it. Uh, 45.4 seconds to go. Tied ball game. Right. Foul shots are going to probably dictate this to some extent. And this is what you're looking for in, in basketball in high school. And it's tied up now, yes, and we'll play that way. Well, you could see when he shot that that he left it short. And Coach Ryan Rapp saying, slow it down now. They will hold for one. What do you say, neighborhood of about six seconds or so to give yourself a second opportunity if you miss? Or do you hold for just the final one? I think you're going to hold for the final one. And I think they're going to probably try to slip. Brian out somewhere. And Bolden is on him over in that far corner on the zone. They'll run it at 17. Heckenden dumps it to Muma. Lost it in traffic. Scramble, jump ball. Lockwood trying to call a timeout. They will get it and get the timeout as well. How about that? The two guys diving for it for Lockwood. Everybody else immediately wanted to find a ref in black. Say timeout, timeout. The second they did, they do get it. Will be Lockwood basketball after the turnover. 12.6 to go. They'll inbound to Holman. Heckenden guards him. Up the floor he'll come. He'll spin one way. Cole's still on him. Dribble to the left side. Poked away and the Tigers have a steal. And Ryan Rapp runs to half court to get the timeout. Right at the half court stripe. So the Tigers will at least have a chance. Boy, how about that? Turnovers go on both sides. And Rich Hill will now get it back. That's number 14 on Lockwood. I'm surprised they're not putting more pressure on him out where on the ball. Thompson will have it in down to him. Work with the dribble. Back to Rob for the win. Three on the way misses. We will play four more. At the end of regulation, the Rich Hill Tigers 47 and the Lockwood Tigers 47.